Check out ProBoxingSupplies.com, PowerPerformanceProducts.com, and you're watching MMAInterviews.tv. This top-ranked lightweight is looking to reinvent himself on his quest to become world champion. The loss, you know, it happened. I learned, you know, it was definitely like kicking the ass. And, um, but, you know, in my mind, I, I feel like if I add on a couple things, you know, I'm the, I'm, I'm the best in the world. As far as my camp and all that stuff, I've been kind of having a couple of issues for the last year. Uh, before my last uh, fight, I ended up leaving my camp halfway through. There's a lot of ups and downs. So after the October bout, you know, I knew that I had to change up a lot of stuff, reinvent myself, who I am, how I fight. You know, because uh, you know I had a lot of a lot of holes, and um, and uh, it was a good time for me just to you know change it up. I traveled up to AKA for for a bit, went to Brazil. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to head out to Holland. Uh, been jumping all over the place, trying to trying to learn and improve. And and uh, the plan is is uh, in June being a whole new guy. Jiu-Jitsu, kicks, knees, accuracy, just um, there's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to improve. The next step on Gray's journey is a change of scenery. I'm gonna move up to the Bay Area, you know, closer up there. Train with um, AKA a little bit. I'm gonna, you know, travel a lot too. Back here at uh, Couture's. As far as Extreme Couture, Great place, love it, but but there was just a couple things I had to do, and and uh, you know I need to learn, so I'm off. I'm off in uh, Brazil, Holland, AKA wherever I can learn, I'm I'm there. The bully's most recent trip was to Rio de Janeiro as a part of featherweight champ Jose Aldo's camp in preparation for his title defense against Chad Mendes. I had a chance to train with uh, uh, Jose Aldo at. Novo Unhao, and um, you know I knew Jose was good. We met, you know, a couple times, and and uh, he was a humble guy, really nice guy. And like for me, I like to help those those uh, 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 types of people. I threw it out there to Ed Soares. They took me up on it. I thought I was gonna be going out there for like a week. Ended up to be like. 28 days they took me in and the coaches there the team I mean I was really surprised I learned a lot off them um, at how good the team was the, the they were close family they were smart about how they trained and and uh, it was a great experience sparring and stuff like that you know it was a good a good uh, uh, test for him we broke a lot of things down as far as small small details so uh, that obviously helped and uh, you know he was so quick to learn you know we would we would talk about it drill it a little bit and then you know, for live he would be doing it so it, it, it was amazing I mean he's an athlete you know uh, you know he can fight real technical but you know for for the most part you know, he's a humble, good guy, and, and, and that's the coolest for me. Maynard has been flying under the radar since his loss to Frankie Edgar in October, but will look to prove a point when he returns to the Octagon in a matter of months. The fights for me that jump out is, you know, whoever has the top name at the, at, at the time, you know, the best name I can get, whether it's, you know, Nate Diaz has a good name now. Uh, I know he, he called me out a couple times, but you know, I, I, I had the fight with, with Edgar. Whatever gets me to the title shot the quickest. It's hard to tell you like one or two. It's just who you beat and how you beat them. I have to, to improve, add on a lot of stuff so I can make a statement, you know, the next time I fight. So the title shot will come a lot quicker. I appreciate the interview, appreciate the fans, I appreciate, you know, the people who aren't fans because 
we still need that to get the to keep the sport growing and and uh, you know just keep watching. Godspeed and party on.